Hi, I'm Megan Ahern, and this week we're talking about science. Did you know that according to the New Jersey Science and Technology University, in 2009 there were 2.5 million working women with STEM degrees compared to 6.7 million men? Even though that number has increased over the years, we as women need to work hard to break those barriers within science, technology, engineering, and math. If you have a love of these subjects, then work towards the goal of getting a degree and landing a job in that area. We are all rooting for you! Together, we will build the number of female attained STEM degrees. Our Woman of the Week is physicist and chemist Marie Curie. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, and the first person and only woman to win it twice. She won twice in multiple sciences, physics, and chemistry, and was part of the Curie family legacy of five Nobel Prizes. Curie's achievements include a theory of radioactivity, a term she coined, techniques for isolating radioactive isotopes, and the discovery of two elements, polonium and radium. Under her direction, the world's first studies were conducted into the treatment of neoplasms using radioactive isotopes. Curie was also the first woman to become a professor at the University of Paris. She founded the Curie Institutes in Paris and Warsaw, which remain major centers of medical research today. We sincerely thank Madame Curie for all of her accomplishments and contributions to the field of science. If we want scientists and engineers in the future, we should be cultivating the girls as much as the boys. That was a quote by physicist and astronaut Sally Ride. In 1983, she became the first American woman in space. Our lady in a lab coat for the week is pioneer in women's and children's health, Dr. Helen Mayo. She founded the Mariba Babies Hospital in Australia and the Mothers and Babies Health Association. There, mothers could receive advice on infant health. According to the University of Adelaide, her contributions to the women's and children's health spheres were a huge factor in the decrease of the infant death rate in South Australia during the beginning of the 20th century. She was the second woman to ever graduate from the University of Adelaide's medical school, and she was the first woman to ever be a university counselor in Australia. Thank you for watching the Hashtag Women Can Do Anything YouTube show. Be sure to subscribe and tune in every Saturday at 6 p.m. Our username is at anywomancan on all social media platforms. All right, I'll see you next week. Okay, bye.